of the clock is, you might have just got yourself a shiny new PC, or maybe you just finally want to get rid of that default rainbow effect. Well, your PC likely came with customizable RGB lighting across the fans, the case, and other components. You can actually change it in a number of ways, including the software or buttons on the case, and in this video, I'm going to show you how. The easiest way to control your PC is with physical controls, and you should try this first. There might be a case button that controls an internal fan hub or an RGB controller, and some of the overclocker systems do use this. Sometimes there's even two or three buttons on the case, one for color, one for the mode, and another one for brightness. Our Miami PC uses ARGB lighting on the inside and then the case is controlled with the buttons on the case itself. So I can scroll between a few different RGB effects. You can see there's a load of different ones to choose from. Then you can change the brightness using the B button and then the color using the C button. It's so quick and easy to do. And you might also find that some cases come with an external RGB remote, so you can even change your lighting wirelessly. Most modern motherboards do have an ARGB header and all your different components are going to be plugged into that and then controlled via software, which can be downloaded from your motherboard manufacturer's website. If you're not sure what motherboard you have, you can just look inside your case, look out for logos, look out for brand names on board the motherboard. You can actually look at your motherboard box that came with your system. You can enter into the BIOS or my favorite method is to go to system information in Windows. Just put that into the search bar and then this comes up with all your various PC hardware then baseball manufacturer and you can see that mine has an Asus motherboard. So for this first system I've gone to the Asus website and I've downloaded Armory Crate which is their software that actually controls all the different things in the motherboard. You can see the frequency, the temperature of your CPU for example. There is lots more in Armory Crate but the bit we're interested in for lighting is called Aura Sync. You can see there is a bunch of different effects on here. The default one is the rainbow effect, but you can go over to static, for example. I'm gonna set mine to a nice static white and you can actually synchronize it all up together. So you go to synchronize devices and then you can select the various components and sync them all up and have a matching system. There is also the advanced effects as well. You can download Aura Creator and that just gives you um, a lot more control over over the various RGB lighting set settings. But I think for most people, these basic, basic effects do cover everything. You've got breathing and you can change between single color or gradient color, for example. Um, but for me, I like the static white. If you have an MSI motherboard like the one in our TechForge Miami PC, you'll need to head to the MSI website and download the MSI Center software. It will try and install a bunch of different programs, but for the RGB lighting, the one you're interested in is Mystic Light. So download that and then open it up and you'll have this page here within the MSI Center software. So if you're struggling to find out where it's downloaded, open MSI Center and then Mystic Light is within that. You can see it's detected all the hardware at the top here. So we've got the motherboard and also the memory. I'm going to go ahead and sync those up. So they are matching rainbow right now. And then you can choose between one of the many settings. So I'm going to go for a nice steady effect. And then I think we'll go for kind of a purpley pink color. It does take a little while to update. The PC turns on and off and then your settings should be applied. You've also got options to add other profiles as well so you can easily switch between different settings. You can enable game synchronization so the RGB lighting matches your gameplay uh, and then you can also link it up with external things as well like uh, NanoLeaf for example will work with the ambient link option. If you have a PC with a Gigabyte motherboard, you'll need to go to their website and download the Gigabyte Control Center software. Within that, you can download RGB Fusion 2.0. You can see that it is detecting the motherboard and the graphics card, and also our all-in-one cooler is plugged into the ARGB header, so that's also synchronized up to the rest of the hardware. 
Within this, you can change between a bunch of different settings. I'm gonna go to the static option, set it to a nice orangey sort of color. And then you can also adjust the brightness and the speed for the various options. And then you can set a few different favorite colors there as well. There is also a game mode, but the games are quite limited. We've got CSGO or Project Cars on there. And if you go up to the settings, you can also update the software as well from in here and see what version you're running, for example, as well. This software is very simple, but sometimes simple is better. If you want more options, you can use the version inside the Control Center software. You can also use a third party tool to control your RGB software, and this is often the easiest way to sync everything up. Some good options are Signal RGB and the inbuilt Windows Dynamic Lighting. What happens if things go wrong? Well, here's a few troubleshooting steps for you. If your RGB colors are stuck or wrong, this might be because you have conflicting apps. Sometimes RGB software can actually interfere with each other and then you end up with a big mess. Things can be flashing, things can not be working. So for example, in this system, we have Aura Sync, but we also have IQ software installed. And sometimes when they're running at the same time, you can get some very strange effects. So just make sure you can go down to the bottom of your Windows panel. You see, we also have Signal RGB on there as well. And you can just quit out of any additional apps until you kind of get the effect that you want. If you're still having issues with your RGB software, I recommend maybe uninstalling and reinstalling. Um, that can sometimes also fix confliction issues or if your RGB lighting is stuck on a particular setting, it's often just the interactions between the different software. Another issue that's quite similar to that is the GPU or your RAM RGB not really syncing up. GPUs and RAM often require brand specific software, so you might need to install more than once such as IQ or RGB Fusion or Aura, Armory Crate, etc. So for example, on this PC, we have Aura Sync, but in order to get the memory to sync up, we also had to download and install the IQ software. And with the IQ software, you actually have to then download a further module, which you can find on the Corsair website. And then that will allow the Corsair IQ software to talk to the Asus software, and therefore your memory will now appear in Armory Crate or a Sync. And it's also backwards compatible as well. So your motherboard and GPU will also appear in IQ. So you can kind of pick which RGB software you want to use. And you'll find that in most cases, if your motherboard is listening to your commands, but not the GPU, it probably is that you're using a different GPU brand to your motherboard, for example. Another issue you might have is that your RGB software won't open or detect any of your hardware. Well, for that, first of all, I just checked that it is completely up to date. For example, this is a brand new RTX 5080. It's the Astral card. When we first downloaded and installed the software, it wasn't actually appearing. And the reason for that is that it needed an update. So you can just go into the settings and then you go into the update center and you just want to get it to check for updates and make sure that the RGB software is up to date and then hopefully your GPU and your RAM will actually be detected within the software itself. If it doesn't open completely, then you might want to uninstall it and reinstall it. And with uninstalling, it's not always that simple because RGB software has a habit of threading itself into your OS and leaving lots of weird files everywhere. So companies like Asus have actually developed an uninstall tool, which you can get on their website. So I recommend finding the AuraSync uninstall tool to kind of take that out, do a fresh, clean install. And then a lot of the time that will fix any issues you have with the software. If your case has an RGB button that doesn't seem to work, it could be because it's plugged into the motherboard control and the case button won't actually be connected. So that is the main reason, but also I would go ahead and just check that it is properly connected, check for any loose connections, check that it is actually connected into your fan hub or your RGB header, uh, and that can often be a very simple fix. A lot of the time I find out that it is just that the, the PC is using software instead of the physical case button. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you out with your RGB software and it's all looking lovely and synchronized no matter what hardware you are using. If you're still having issues, you can leave a comment below this video and I'll do my best to reply and help you out. Remember to like, subscribe, and why not check out some of the other content on the Overclockers Academy YouTube playlist. And I'll see you again in the next one.